Good morning guys, I'm back from New York. I got in last night at like 2 a.m. Our flight was three hours delayed. The past week in New York, if you guys watched the vlogs, were such a mess. The pop-up was incredibly successful. Everything worked out, but I got food poisoning for like two and a half days, three days really. I was so sick. All of our inventory almost didn't arrive, and then our flight got so delayed. But it is a new week, and today is the day that I have been looking forward to and talking about nonstop. Today is the day that my grandmother, aka Myga, I gave her the name when I was a baby because I couldn't say my grandma. So you guys can call her Myga too. My friends also call her Myga. Today is the day that we start the garden on my rooftop. It's a long way today. I am in my Martha Stewart era. I woke up early. I scrubbed off every last self tanner on my body every single thing i'm in uggs and sweats and a sweater got a pumpkin coffee and i am just like so excited for today i'm going to sprouts because my grandma or my gum i never call her my grandma i always say my gum what do you guys call your grandparents and yes i am the favorite grandchild um i like to think because actually i'm also just the oldest so like this you know happened in order because i gave her the name she really likes the Olipop root beer and I'm out of that and I just need to get stuff to make like tomato soup. I still am not eating like super heavy solid food since food poisoning. Like I've been living off of soups for the past, since Thursday and today's Monday or Wednesday. I don't know guys. I don't have any reference of time but today is an incredible day because I am starting it off at Sprouts. And tomorrow Colleen Hoover's new book comes out. And today is the launch of the Okine Scarves and Beanies online. And Taylor Swift's new album also comes out. And then on Friday, I go to my friend, my first friend's wedding. It's like really a really good time. But I'm home for the next two months besides this weekend. And then potentially if we go on a birthday trip for friends, I'm just so happy to be home. The fall vlogs are back in action. Dom is coming for Halloween weekend. We're doing a really cool thing, a, like a cool deal, and going to see a great artist that you guys will die over. The live show is November 11th. Get your tickets if y'all are in Dallas. Um, it's just gonna be like a really good time, but I'm feeling like I'm in my vlog era. I'm in my fall vlog era, and that is what I needed. I think it's what we needed. I think it's what you needed, you know? So subscribe if you guys are new. This is my coffee. I also got a pumpkin sauce, like one pump pumpkin sauce. I don't know why it's not in there, but. It was everything that I could have ever needed. Love you, Sprouts. Oh wow, my god, don't you think it looks so much better? Great. But this is what's so annoying is I can't keep this floor clean. There's no way. It rained while I was gone. Here's my new gardening kit. And then here is the garden, the raised garden. They just moved this stuff because they're power washing. We are gonna try Jimmy's food store. I've heard there's great sandwiches and that's what we want for lunch. Everything here looks so good. The cookie dough, wow, it smells so good. The fresh pasta, I mean, it smells so good. This is incredible. Yeah, I might need to get pickles. Spicy garlic pickles. Oh yeah. That's delicious. Definitely these. Shout out to Jimmy's. That was an absolute dream. That was so incredible, and I will be there all the time. We got tiramisu, we got sandwiches, we got pickles. Like, I could spend forever there. Okay, we made it to Redenta's, which is my preferred place for plants. It's very calming, it's very cute. It's literally just off Skillman. Seeds for a garden. See, they have so much stuff. We have greetings. But how much is too much? Well, let's see. What do you, what do you like? I definitely need basil. I definitely need thyme. You can just buy a plant. Okay, well then. We're gonna do onions. We're gonna do garlic. Yeah. We want, I just like to do seeds because it's fun to watch 
Mm-hmm. Watch it come up. Like, you know what this uh, weirdly reminds me of? You know when you used to make our our Halloween costumes mm -hmm. and like the packaging that we would go to the craft store? Like this is giving me those flashbacks. What about peppers? Yeah, sure, why not? This little thing here will get eventually. Really? Okay, let's do that. That bit. Oregano does this. You have to cut that back because it's it's called going to seed. So you just cut all of that off. You don't want that flower on there. Okay. On the oregano? So when your oregano grows, yeah, you'll Got get it. this. And anytime you get like a dead leaf, you cut that off. It's called, um, what does Sandy call it? Deadheading. Okay, guys, this is what we're getting. Cucumbers, peppers, Maiga brought. I told them all to call you Maiga. I told them the story of how you were named Maiga by me. <laughs> Maiga got brought me onions and garlic, so I don't need to get those. Ooh. All right, so from Jimmy's, I forgot you even got the tiramisu. Sandwiches, they look incredible. Got pickles, as we know, Amanda loves pickles. So these I'm excited for, the hot sweet ones. Garlic, that was just an incredible experience. All right, we made it to the roof, guys. Carried everything up. I'm out of breath. I'm going to probably get this rug opened and move that over here. Maiga has her visor on. We have our soil. These are, I'm like so out of breath. These are some of the plants we went with. We got basil, rosemary. What else did we get? Oregano and then, what am I? Mint, I'm like out of it right now. And then we also have these seeds which are pepper and then cucumbers. I don't know, everyone was commenting saying their cucumber gets so big, so I'm not sure if I'll have like space for that, but I do, like the vision is to make pickles. Oh wow, garlic and onion, thanks so much. She came prepared and, oh yeah, beautiful. Oh, so she got tulips, so I'm gonna, that's why I got this new pot. And then I also got those plastic things so that the soil will stop getting all over my freshly power washed floor. <laughs> I get said if she breaks a nail, she's gonna sue me. So I'll keep you guys posted on our legal battles.
Alright guys, I am so tired. My lack of sleep. I got home so late last night and I woke up very early. It's killing me. And being outside, I think. So I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm not gonna take a nap. I need to get some work done. So here we are. Okay, ooh. I actually wanna try my new pumpkin spice like superfood creamer. It just looked good today at Sprouts. I go left and we finished what we're doing on the rooftop today. I have a task rabbit coming over right now and he's going to get rid of one of my umbrellas because one of them is just done for. Here we are making some coffee. One of the umbrellas is done for so he's gonna get rid of that one and then some of the trash bags and ooh. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the garden. It's so exciting. I've already decided I'm gonna get another raised bed so then I can do kale um, and more cucumbers. So right now we have basil, oregano, thyme, mint, peppers, onions, and like a, a cucumber or two. We're just gonna like test it out, see what works. My grandma gardens a lot with her friends. She lives like in an area with all of her friends and one of her friends and her like garden together. So that's why I'm having her help me because she obviously knows what she's doing and I don't. My house feels amazing. It's just so nice to be home. Guys, something about this is giving me the ick. I don't know, like. No, it's good. I've got to wake up though because Martha would and also I'm gonna make some tomato soup tonight It is so easy like I'm sure a lot of you guys know how to make it But I never just made it at home Obviously the only time I have tomato soup is like out of a can or like pre-made or whatever um, And I made it actually for my grandma when she was here Maybe like two weeks ago at my house and it was really good Today's been such a good day. I can't get over Jimmy's food store I cannot believe I haven't been there already. It was fabulous. I need to start making more Dallas TikToks. Um, and Jemmy's, it's happening immediately. So I've decided, I'm giving you guys a little rooftop update, which I decided this when I first moved and I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna get a fence type thing to block off the AC unit because it's just ugly. I do wanna get a second raised bed and I don't know if I'm gonna buy that like immediately. I've just been spending a lot of money, but maybe I might as well order it, honestly. Yeah, I might as well order it. Yeah, okay. The Okine launch happened earlier today and it's been going so well. We are like running through inventory, which is great news. Um, I have a lot of stuff I need to do for that tonight, like just brainstorming, because for the puff bag that you guys saw in the New York solo day vlog and also just throughout the New York vlogs, that launches like pretty soon. So we've got to shoot that and do all that stuff very soon. So trying to get all that together and then we have some other things that are happening and just like, you know, it's great. I love my life. Okay, so anyways, we're going to the rooftop and I'm going to show you guys what is happening in my garden. I'm so happy. Roof update. I hate that the AC is going off, but this is the update. So those are tulips that will be blooming in a long time from now. So the plants are not going to be out over here like this. They're just holding the rug down for the time being. This umbrella is going to go. Finally today, all of this is trash. The sandbags, I think we actually might keep. My grandmother, is, Myga, is a, was a seamstress. My mom owned two companies. Well, they both did together. Um, one that was bedding, one that was drapery. It was like in Neiman's, it did very well. Anyways, she was like head seamstress. I don't even know if that's like the right word, but she can sew and like literally do everything. So she's decided and taken it upon herself, even though I said I would just buy a new one, that she wants to make a new umbrella cover. So that's gonna be great. And then she's gonna do what like a Christmas skirt would be over this and we're gonna fill it with sand. So then it's fine, um, which is exciting. But then over here, the only thing that I don't like about this is I don't like seeing the plastic here. We're also gonna like go with like oil on the teak wood, but I don't like seeing this plastic here, but we need that. And this isn't gonna bloom for a while. I got this at Redentos today. Like the AC is actually my arch nemesis. It just ruins my zen, okay? Oh, I'm gonna get cute little like tag things off Etsy of like what everything is. So right here, mint, rosemary, oregano, basil, which is like literally already up and going. I can actually use that today. And then we have everything else like planted just strategically through here. 
I think I'm gonna do another bed though because I want space for Kale and I, I just want more space. Who would have thought? Me, actually, I would have thought, but I am living my best Martha Stewart life in a two bedroom townhouse in the city. It's impressive. You get the best of both worlds. You get the bars, you get the scene, but you also get the rooftop and the garden. And if it weren't for the AC, you would have peace and tranquility out here. But the AC is literally ruining my life. Also guys, unfortunately, my cushions on my beds have turned purple, which we don't love. But it kind of is what it is for the time being. So anyways, the trash bags and then the little like cardboard things, the umbrella, and then just the other trash bags, like those are gonna go today. I have to have someone, obviously I can't do that myself and I just need a truck to dispose of it. Uh, my trash is already full. That's why I have to have people come a lot cause like when you have a house you only have a certain amount of trash and I just, I have too much stuff. That I, not too much stuff, but like I get a lot of packages and a lot of the stuff goes in recycling and you, know, you guys get what I'm saying. That's the one thing I do miss about apartment living is that you just have a trash shield. So anyways, also obviously that's literally not gonna fit in my trash, but I don't know why I'm justifying this. I'm just trying to explain to you, but who cares? None of you care. Maya said these are looking great and I was kind of worried they weren't, but she said, no, they look awesome. So we have to just add some like soil around a few more plants, like these, those two, and then those two. So most of them um, tomorrow, and then it'll be a lot better. All right, I'm gonna make some tomato soup. Normally, I roast the garlic as is, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try it a little different way. Okay, onion, heirloom tomatoes, and then I'm gonna roast on my pan at 400 for 30 minutes, that's olive oil. And then I put it in a blender with a little bit of oat milk, a little bit of basil. You obviously wanna season these. Easiest thing in the world to make, and I know most of you probably know how to make this, um, but just in case you guys wanted to know how I make it, this is what I do. Again, literally the easiest thing that I could ever make. else is just so happy to see the pups back in the vlogs. I know it was two without them. I guess they're not even in every vlog, they're just next to me as I'm vlogging. Fitz is unbelievably big, it's actually insane. I just got the best idea for our puffer bag shoot for the Okine, so I just made the vision board, I'm making soup, I am, do you see how tired I am? Like my face is like not okay. It is 5.30. Oh my God, look, my eyes are watering. That is how tired I am. Oh my, guys, like it looks like I'm crying. I look like I'm high almost. I really am not high, I promise, but wow, what is going on? Just finished my tomato basil soup. Gonna do a little taste test again, guys. I'm so tired. Like my face doesn't even look like my face. And this is so good. Like it is just so good. Obviously it's better with grilled cheese, but I can't even be bothered today. Like I really can't. I was making a reel, like showing how I make this because it's so easy, but like I actually, I, I just, like, I can't even bother to make this cute. It's really good. I've showered. I put on a little bit of self-tanner. I scrubbed my body again. And then, I don't really know why I'm doing this to myself, but I'm retrying the Luxe Unfiltered Gradual Hydrating Self-Tanning Cream. I used to love this stuff. I, guys, I look like I'm high. Like, I, I'm so deliriously tired. I used to love the Luxe Unfiltered stuff. It was incredible. And then all of a sudden, it just started going like on my skin really blotchy. Even though I love it, so I don't know what was going on. But I figured since I exfoliated so much, there's still some weird stuff on my legs and I went over it. That's on me. You know, that's a me problem. Um, I wanted to try it, especially just for winter because it's easier if I just like keep it up. 
Um, I also, as you can see here, I got my outfit out for Pilates tomorrow and it is literally 6.12 p.m., guys. Is this what Martha does? I'm trying to make it to seven, guys. It's 6.23. I am going to finish my soup, drink some water, get some more work done, and then at seven, I am off to bed. We both have imposter syndrome, and I think everyone does. And there are days that both of us are like, oh my God, I've never, like, you, you spiral in thinking and catastrophize. Like, for me personally, I'm like, it'll happen like once a month where I'm like, oh my God, I've done nothing. I'm not, like, I'll never get to where I wanna be. I'm so far behind. I'm so this and that and whatever. And like, it it really is normal to feel those 